This is the front section from our X32 Big Veto model from RC Jetprint. And in this particular video, we're going to print a Hound Lounge version yep. with a brand new King Room KP3S Pro S1. And guys, don't let you fool you by the small size, but compared to the KP3S and the KP3S Pro S1, has an increased print volume of 200 by 200 by 200, which is further expands the printer capability for your daily 3D printing tasks. The King Room KP3S Pro is a centilever style 3d printer with the linear guard rails on the x y and z axis to exchange the printer head stability and accuracy for your increased printing quality the crew on kps3 pro s1 is currently the most cost effective among the similar projects on the market so in this particular video we're going to test it out and we're going to find out if the king worm also can print foaming filaments it's a cheap printer and again, like I said, don't fool you by the small size because it can print really big volumes. So let's start unpacking it and let's go to work. Well guys, I'm starting to like this printer more and more. It can even do lightweight filaments from ColorFab. Yeah, it's doing exactly what it wants to do. We got a small oil plane, the X32, and it's printing small parts. Awesome. Okay, our next part is the skid plate. So therefore we're going to use a resin printer. You can also print it out of PLA, but in this case, I'm going to try a resin printer. This is a, in a reinforcement part of the main fuselage 4. 
section one and during landage it will protect the lightweight PLF parts so let's test it well I'm really proud at this small little printer guys it can do foaming filament of course I have to sand it but let's check the quality oh yeah it's lightweight it feels okay yeah need some sanding and then we're good to go nice okay so let's weigh this part 12 grams <laughs> nice the layer is, is also really really good nice so let's clean it up and let's start with the front section of the wing yep take the sd card the screen is also really bright and what i also do like is it got a and then a filament detection and yeah what can i say about this printer those are really really nice these are industrial bearings keeps it really really stabi stable how do you call it stable stable in english yep wow guys i'm using process slicer i added the king's room kps as a profile And all the G codes are online. Well, this printer keeps surprising me. Even the next parts came out really nicely, and the layers are, are really good. Look at this, eh? <laughs> it's printing the, the parts for the bigger F35. Oh, sorry, for the X32. Look how big this part is. This is the exhaust pipe from the bigger X32. And it came out really nice. Let me make a close up. Okay guys, you all know that I'm a big fan of the Bamboo Lab. Um, but this printer is a really must have beside of this printer if you want to have to print some extra parts. And if you look at the quality, uh, this one came from the king room and this came from the, the Bumble Up. It's surprisingly good. Um, of course, the Bumble Up can print it in like six times faster than the king room, but 3D printing is all about the, the quality. And yeah, only what I can say is judge on yourself. King room versus the Bumble Up. I really like them both. And there you have it, we printed the Hand Lounge F32, or actually X32, which come up pretty nice, it flies really nice, and this model is also available on rcjetprint.com. Um, so this printer and this model, for who, whether what smaller budget or just starting to in RC building and wants to start printing, I can really advise you the King Room. Um, it really surprised me, to be honest. And uh, as I told before, I'm a big fan of the Bamboo Lab, um, but this 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 king worm really surprised me and it's a nice must have it's a small desktop printer with a big volume to print um, if i ask did you already push the like button uh, we need to trigger the youtube algorithm because the, the views are really dropping uh, somehow lately i don't know but um, yeah what can i tell you guys more um, i got another part this part this is the, also the nose section which is very lightweight and in the next video, um, I've got also a resin printer to review where we're going to print the skid plate. I'm going to make a dedicated about the GTEC uh, resin printer. Um, yeah, so we will try this printer also out and we will put that in the next uh, video. So guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, just let me know in the comments. I will put the links in the website for this uh, I still keep playing with it. I'm really amazed how light it is, by the way. So I will also put the discount code for this printer in the, in the, in the comment section. And again, if you need, or need to ask me or whatever, want to see some particular videos, just let me know.
guys see you in the next one bye bye